In this video, I'm going to do another recap and revision session going through everything you need to know for that section B, the living world, which is also known as the ecosystems unit. What I'm going to do is give you a quick overview of all the different topics you need to know for this part. I'm going to provide some revision method suggestions on how you can revise. I'm going to finish off showing you some practice questions you could go off and do in your own time. So at any time, you could go back and review some of the videos I've put together on this ecosystems unit. So you could go back and see my first video, which just gives you a general overview of what we mean by an ecosystem. My second video looks at tropical rainforests, and my third video looks at cold environments. So again, you can go back and check out any of those at any point. The links will be above. So let's jump into the content. Everything you need to know for this living world unit. So we start off with you understanding what we mean by an ecosystem. I went through the main ecosystem key terms and you need to know the terminology when talking about the different parts of an ecosystem. We also looked at food chains and webs. You need to be able to apply the information shown in these diagrams to some exam questions. We also briefly looked at changes and influence on ecosystems and how things can actually change these areas. We then looked at the different global ecosystems and you have to have a decent knowledge of all the different ecosystems you're going to find around the world and some of the characteristics associated with these ecosystems. The next section looked at tropical rainforests and we focused on the climate and the characteristics of the Amazon rainforest. Now the main focus of this unit was looking at deforestation. Why does it happen and what are the main causes and impacts of deforestation? So we started off looking at the general values of the rainforest and it gives us such things as goods, timber, energy and different services. We then looked at causes, so what causes the deforestation? We looked at examples such as logging, farming and mineral extraction. We then looked at the impact, so what does this deforestation actually uh, affect in the world and in the local communities? So the first thing was looking at the difference between the global impacts of deforestation and the local impacts. We looked at the loss of biodiversity, soil erosion and pollution. We then looked at the sustainable management of the rainforest and what the international, national and local communities can do to actually look after and protect the rainforest. We then went on to look at cold environments and again, Whatever areas you looked at, you need to know the characteristics, the different climates you're going to see throughout the year. You want to have a good understanding of the level of biodiversity in these areas. And again, the development opportunities and challenges. So here are just a few suggestions on how you can actually revise for this topic. Again, watching these videos would be a good start and looking at your revision guides. I briefly talked about flashcards and flip books in previous videos and you actually creating some kind of resource for yourself to look back on is also very effective. Another good suggestion is creating mind maps for each different unit. So again, you can see all the different bits of information all on one sheet of paper. Another practical exercise you could do is create an ecosystem in a box. This is where you make a physical model showing different characteristics and levels of a rainforest or a cold environment. The last of the suggestions is again looking at BBC Bite Size and looking for practice questions in various different sources. Another important way to prepare for exams is doing lots of practice questions. This really gets you to think about the application of all this knowledge. Here are eight practice questions you can do in your own time. So just take a quick screenshot of these questions and then complete them on paper. Question three asks you to use the world map of the global ecosystem. So again, take a screenshot of the world map I've provided here or go find an example on the internet. That's just a quick summary of everything you need to know for the ecosystems unit on paper one. Again, the most effective revision techniques you can use are you actually going away and practicing this yourselves, applying your knowledge to practice questions. So the more time you invest in it, the more effective it's going to be. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more in this Sunday morning coffee playlist. Give this video a like and next week I'll be looking at coastal environments.